Hey everybody, Kyle here. It's probably going to be a little while until I post my next video because I'm having some computer issues. I uh, was having some trouble with uh, running out of memory as I was rendering, so I thought I would upgrade my RAM. Um, but apparently they've decided to make RAM not simple and easy anymore and make it just a big horrible pain in the ass that even if the numbers line up, it's still not fucking compatible. So, um... I looked on the support forms. Uh, my motherboard is a gigabyte, and apparently this is a known issue, and the solution is to upgrade your BIOS, um, which I did. And ever since doing that, now neither of my operating systems will load. Um, and I fiddled around with some of the settings, and this is the best progress I've been able to make after four hours of tinkering. So... Yay, my CPUs are stuck. And it just does this. I've left it for like an hour. Um, so, I don't know. Um, if any of you have any solutions, it would make me incredibly happy. Um, I was, I don't know. I was thinking of might as well try to reinstall a fresh operating system or at least have that option ready to go. But of course, with this computer out of commission, I had to use my laptop. Unfortunately, my laptop is um, is so it doesn't have a, um, a boot disk or thumb drive creator on it, and it's so old that I can't even install one because the repos are no longer supported. So I had to burn one to DVD uh, to reinstall the operating system on this laptop to be able to update it, to be able to get a bootloader, to be able to make a thumb drive for the operating system. Um, just, just in case I have to upgrade and start fresh on this one. Uh, I seriously thought changing RAM would be just five minutes of insert sticks. RAM works. But no, that's not going to happen. Um, I'm pretty frustrated with this and don't know what to do, so if any of you have any suggestions at all, please let me know. Your help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I really hope I didn't just brick my motherboard because I don't want to spend another $600 just replacing all that crap um, and processor as well. I'm going to post more detailed system specs um, in the little thing below this video, but um, if anyone has any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. I'm pretty desperate. All right. Have a good night.